Move, move, keep moving! Can you go another point? I've lost a lot of the hydrolin fluid. I mean, I can replace the power. Okay, if it's the only way, just do it. Okay, boss. Weasel. Weasel, where are you? Weasel. Right here, Mr. Rogor. Listen to me. Do it. Right away, sir. Wear 
freak. Listen to me, you little tadpole. You are a very rude young man. Hey! Oh! Hey, no! 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 Hey! Come from, we teach our kids manners. Last time I saw a face like that, I had a look at it. <laughs> <laughs> of your service contracts. Employment is terminated. Hey, where you going? Found out one thing, Shorty. What's that? Not cut out to be a short order cook. Who was? Can you hear it? You see the way he hit bang? Sorry about what happened back there. You didn't punch anybody. Yeah, forget it. but if I hadn't shot my big mouth off. Uh, talking is no crime. Forget about can't it. Can't forget about it. I'm a nebulite. So? What were you calling yesterday? A nebulite never forgets. Honor demands I repay the pay. No, just forget about it, will you? Wait a minute. You don't seem to understand. You may need my help. Without a job on the star station, you could be deported for vagrancy. Hey, shut up! <laughs> Shorty, that would suit me just fine. I don't give a damn about this star station. I just want to go back to Earth. Then I'll pay you back by helping you invalid get there. Invalid entry. Please check with a cryptid. What now? What's wrong? I said invalid entry. Excuse me. This key it doesn't seem to be working. Your crib has been folded. For what? Folded for what? You lost your job, and we never got the rest of your deposit. Now, yeah, wait a minute. Sorry. <laughs> Where in the hell am I supposed to sleep now, huh? <laughs> I got a place. Come on. Try bypassing the ED system completely. All right, hand me the spot well. Try it now. Nah, it ain't gonna work. What do you guys think? Don't you fix me. The L3 arm is totally shot. The interrosser unit and the magnet thrusters is completely burned out. Sorry, kid, but I'm afraid your fighting days are over. Hey, come on. All he needs is a micro relay. Yeah, do you have any idea how much that costs? Don't retire me. Don't worry about it, Spinner. We're not going to give up on you yet, okay? Right? Okay. Maybe when Vang takes the quarterfinals, we'll have the money. Hey, what happened? The Earthling. That's what happened. Look, why should you sleep on the floor when I've got a perfectly good place? Don't be crazy. We'll be departing from outer platform space lot B. Space lot A. All freighters will depart from outer platform space lot M. Are you there? Uh, I wouldn't want to put you out, Shorty. Hey, after what you did for me. Operate, fool. Don't get in here much. 
do first. Come on. Now, come on. Oh, come on. All right. One girl, small, he must. Now, I love that guy. Shorty, do me a favor, would you? Anything, kid. I owe you, remember? Let's consider this your way of repaying me. Oh. I'm in full. <laughs> no, no. I'm not gonna let you get away with letting me off that easy. That's what I was afraid of. That's us go, Rookie. Ah. Welcome to my world! What is this place? The Cubes! I heard about this place, but I didn't think that it is. This I tell you something, young man. Many people don't have any place else to go. Three. Hey, my guys! Ah, uh, you're wearing Wendell's robe, my friend. I knew one under this one. Ah, uh, lungs. Always a good one, Jay. He was the greatest, damn it. He was that. Courage, my friend. Hey, sorry, was that Marcus Diablo? Same. He was the last human champion, but that was what, 50 years ago? All those guys were contenders. That was when the game meant something. Uh -huh. Now it means nothing. Oh. I wish I could have been a part of it. What makes you such an expert, Rook? Are you kidding? I've seen every single one of Marcus's fights on retransmission. It was still a sport when he fought. Mm. There's a lot of difference between looking and fighting, rookie. No, 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 wait a second. There's something you don't know about me, Shorty. I am a fighter. Uh, I fought on the human circuit. I was ranked. I won a lot of fights. Mm. I had this dream. One day, I could come up here and fight in the arena. There's just no room for real fighters up here anymore. At least not for humans, that's for sure. This way. I don't understand this, Shorty. You got a job. Why do you live down here? <laughs> I had a job. And I sent all my money home to my family on Nebula. So, your family man from Nebula. Exactly. How many kids you got? 27. 27. <laughs> now, hold it. I, I locked this. Wait. I'll go. slept in a week. How you like your egg? Shorty, eggs are expensive. We're out of work. Don't worry, I got friends topside. We'll get jobs. Ah, that must be the skull. 
Oh, Jetta. Hey, take it easy on the kid. He's a nice kid. You Steve Armstrong? Yeah. Hey, take it easy! Just wait. Take it. the guy who fed Vang a window. Who in the hell is Vang? He must be the tuna head from the stand. Yeah, well, I was kind of counting on him. For what? Being stupid? <laughs> He's one of my fighters. As a matter of fact, he was one of my best fighters. Hey, you know, I heard about you, but I find it very difficult to believe. I mean, an earthling who can fight. You ever thought about the arena, Steve? Oh, come on, boss. It ain't gonna work. This guy's a human. He kicked your butt. <laughs> and in case you forgot, Bang happened to be a hell of a fighter, too. You're talking about arena fighting. It's not for me. I wanted it once. I trained for it my whole life. But after I got here a year ago, I couldn't even get in the door. And I'll tell you something. Now that I've seen it, it stinks. So why don't you just take your two boneheads here and slide back upstairs where you came from. Hold on, wait, 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 calm down, just calm down, calm down. Miss Quinn, am I given to believe that you are uh, offering this prospect a contract? I don't know. I mean, it might be. Mm. Humanoid fighter. Who could believe it? The eggs, they're getting cold. Huh? Uh, hey, kid, you know something? Those eggs aren't the only thing that's yellow. A temporary. Ten days with an option for a year. How about it? Damn! Now well, wait a minute, Shorty. I might want to tick it off this barge, but I don't have to earn it in their crooked game. That's not the way I run my fights, Mr. Armstrong. Fine. Run it any way you want, but without me. Come on, Lynn. Why don't you just tell me where to take it? Look, don't worry about it. Got any money? Yeah, not very much. Mm. You're right. But it'll have to do. Hold on. What are you going to do? Look, you lost your job and you blew a shot with Quinn. And this won't even get you out of the Quasar Nebula, let alone back to Earth. So you've run out of options, kid. Trust me. Come on. Isn't it great? I'd be a lucky dinner. 
Alright. Cody, this is all the money I've got left. Yeah, that's peanuts too. In a few minutes it's gonna be important. So I'll wait here, I'll be right back. May I take a turn, please? Help yourself. Well again? Where I come from, it's bad luck to play the same game of chance twice. Will you roll for me? Winner! Oh. You're my lucky charm. Come on, let's go to the bylock table. Not now, Shorty. I'm right in the middle of something. Uh-huh. Listen, first we take care of business, then we see the sights. Okay. Excuse me, you're gonna be here for a while. As long as I'm on a winning streak. I gotta go. I'll be back. Did you see her? You want to meet a girl or win a ticket home? You should have asked me five minutes ago. Okay, no, I'm watch not. this. This is my game. Bet then. Shorty, come on. At least only bet half of it. Right, but it'll take twice as long. Turn your card. Read them and wait. Sorry, how to win. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you should ask for a couple of new cards. I'll play these. How raises you ten privileges? No way, I got him. Oh, turn your cards. <laughs> Sorry, how wins again? Swordfish. Surprise. 
one way to Earth. Sorry. A simple thank you will do. Thank you. We're even. All right. Finally, huh? <laughs> Gotta go stop. Boom. Now, I've been thinking about this Quinn proposition. Oh, look, I don't want to hear anything else about Quinn. Look, you try it for a little while. If you don't like it, you can quit. You've got your ticket home. No, no way. Kid, you're a natural. I've never seen a faster human in a long time. You've got speed, you've got muscle. Sorry. No. All right. Look, I'll have a couple of drinks, listen to some music in honor of you last night on the Star Station. Hey, thanks for this, though, huh? Say no more. Do you know who I am? No, why, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> He's only kidding, Mr. Rogor. He's drunk! Still puts me in better shape than anyone here. No, that's enough out of you. Which one of them pinched my stack? You. I don't know what it means, Mr. Rogor. I... Oh, no! Oh. Weasel has no patience for liars. Who are you calling a liar? Come on. Come on, I'll blow you away if I have to. Weasel. A little restraint, please. Gentlemen, let me make my position perfectly clear. I want my money back. Eight. Eighteen thousand Kruger. Sure. Slow. Real slow. Take it. We'll call it even. Okay? This is non refundable, and it's only worth thirteen thousand. To send a little go back to Nebula. Look, I'll get the money. Just give me a day. I like you. Twelve hours. If you're not back by then. <laughs> you understand? I'll get the money. 
Don't worry, I'll be back. I'm not worried. Yeah. Weasel. Come on. After 12 hours, start cutting off his fingers. One every hour. Don't worry, Mr. Lord. I know just what you want. in the morning. What do you want? You still looking for a fighter? Yeah. I see you're five. I'll call you. You're gonna have to pay to see him. Raise your fifty. <laughs> Read him in a week. Four Nova. Oh. Grand scuffle. <laughs> Couple more hands like this, we won't have to wait for the kid to come back. <laughs> Just kidding, just kidding. Mm. <laughs> Mr. Rogo. He's busy. Tell him the kid's back. urgent business, so if you don't mind, we'll just, you know, go. 18,000 Kruger in less than an hour. You should be working for me. Thanks, but I've already got a job. Ladies and gentlemen, never have I felt the excitement as explosive as is the arena tonight. For the first time in 50 years, not since Marcus was the king, will a human do battle in the arena. Mr. Oga, look! It's your guy. Arena fans, coming up next on the card will be a two-point match. That's how he got all that through The lad's a fighter. The combatants will be Steve Armstrong and Earthman against the Sloth from Men's Day. Yeah. Look, don't worry about his size. The handicap is going to put him at a point six, okay? But don't worry, you'll get your money back, all right? Five seconds to rally start. <laughs> obvious that no human being can compete. That's what's being proven here tonight. I had no idea the kid was a fighter. <laughs> You're right, boss. He ain't. <laughs> okay, clear your head, kid. Do you know who you are? Why don't you give me a hint? 
Yeah. Not funny, okay? Look, if you lose this one, there won't be another human champion for 50 years. What? That's real encouraging, Quinn. Look, just go out there and take control, okay? Whatever you did to Fang, go do it to Sloth, okay? Right. When you got inside on him, he got real defensive. If you can get to his sense of nerve, you can win this fight. Oh, that's right. I'll try to remember that's the next time he clobbers me. But you want to win or what? Listen, I'm good. Get out there, you fight! <laughs> unbelievable. No one figured that Steve Armstrong would last as long and be this close. Okay, now keep moving in on him, okay? He's not used to fighting somebody as fast as you are, so just get on by him. He's too center of him. such an astonishing debut, such a display of guts, poise, and talent. Not only a rookie, but an Earthman. Now, could this be the contender that the humanoid races have awaited all these years? Oh, but look, <laughs> you ought to see the other guy. You look good out there in my kit. I know, I felt fantastic, Shmurri. Uh, a little bit awkward at first, yeah. but after the first couple of blows, the uh, adrenaline takes over. Yeah. The excitement of the arena, it's like nothing I ever felt before. Well, yeah. Now you want to give it all up, go back to Earth, right? Sorry, I did that to get you out of the jam with the ticket money. Yeah, I know, but you've had him. You. Out. He stays. So, Armstrong. 
You're full of surprises, aren't you? What are you talking about, Vogar? You didn't tell me you were a fighter. I didn't know I had to tell you I was a fighter. It's a good idea. Right, Mr. Rogar? Left shoulder, Shorty. It's a little stiff. You were very impressive out there tonight. You could go right to the top with the right management. I signed with Quinn. <laughs> I said with the right management. Ask around. Nobody gets to the championship circuit without Robo. Then I guess I won't be champion. I'm strong. Whether you like it or not, you're going to work for me. Nobody tells me what to do. Hold it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Maybe you guys better leave before the shadow police come, okay? Ask around. Come on, Rucker, sit down, I'll give you a rub. Come on, sit down. Don't worry about those cheap hustlers. So, uh, how come you didn't tell them you were going back to Earth? Maybe I'm not. What do you mean? I don't know. I felt something in there tonight, Shorty. Yeah. I mean, I can actually fight in the arena. I can win. Right. Jim Rogor might fix things around here, but he does not control me. Right. we have been saying for years that no human has got the guts to fight in the arena. I'm telling you, Shorty, I can do it. Right. I can go all the way. Right. You with me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's what Ricky insists to the algae harvester. If that's your daughter, where's her Corolla and escalator? Me. <laughs> I didn't get it. Ah, uh, you don't want to. <laughs> oh, I could stay all night, folks, but I gotta do it. A hand for the boys in a band. And remember, I hate your guts. <laughs> I'm gonna go talk to that sports writer over there. A little publicity never hurts. Watch the champ for me. Got a long way to go before that. How do you mean that? I just mean that I want you to go along slowly. I mean, you're going to get your shot, but I want you to do it my way. Understand? Quinn, how can someone who looks as good as you do be so tough? How did you get started in a fight game, anyway? My dad used to run a stable full of fighters. Really? When? A long time ago. He handled quite a few human contenders. As a matter of fact, Marcus was the last champ. He loved the arena. And then Rogar came along and turned the sport into a business. A dirty one at that. Broke my dad's heart. My dad died and left me Spinner and a couple of spare parts. And that's about it. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep my dad's dream alive. Dean Armstrong! You're the new human fighter! We saw you beat Sloth! In the arena, you were great! Wasn't he, Gar? Well, wasn't he? Come on, people, come on! <laughs> Celebrity hounds! Shows promise. <laughs> promise? He knocked him out of the ring! <laughs> you know, Rogar, if I were you, I'd be careful. You might just be looking at the new champ. <laughs> Excuse me. I want to introduce you to Jade. Jade, this is Steve Armstrong. I believe I've mentioned his name. We've met. Yes. My lucky charm. 
It's a pleasure to meet you all, but if you'll excuse me, I'm about to go on. Lucky charm. You're a crazy new boy, you're a human contender. Well, Slav is all washed up. Don't think a minute you can get into the arena with me. I am Horn. I am champion. Soon to be ex-champion. You want to go with somebody, you can go with me right now. Horn! Save it for the fans. No point in giving away what the public will pay for. Pay for all this stuff. Guess you're gonna have to keep on fighting. <laughs> Attention, everybody! Attention! On behalf of everybody here, I'd like to give you my champion medal as a token of our appreciation. Gee, that's great, Mark. What an honor. Mark. First of all, thank you. But I can't accept this. I didn't do anything to deserve it. One fight? You fought 50 fights for this. You were the greatest. You gave us hope again, boy. And you got a lot of fights coming up. So knock them dead. I'm gone. Looks like they're having fun. Mr. You're going to be my insurance policy.
lot of pressure on me. Yes, I understand. And there's a lot of cougar at stake. You've got to give the people what they want. You do understand? Yes, Commissioner. So you'll set the date then? If you think he's ready, sir. Well, frankly, we don't have a choice. And it'll be a good match. Yes, it's going to be a great fight. All right, then. Commissioner is forcing me to give Armstrong a title shot. Well, we gotta do something, right? I mean, if, uh, if Armstrong beats Horn, you lose control of the championship fights. He won't beat Horn. But what if he does? Uh, look, uh, uh, Mr. Rogor, uh, I got this plan I've been working on with Skull here, and, and you're gonna love it. You're really gonna love it. You might even give me control of the East Hub betting slats when you hear this. What plan? What are you talking about? Skull. I figured out a base for entry to Seiko 3000 with a 50,000-round overload. See, a point entry to the number 12 freezer cable. Oh, <laughs> that's enough, Skull. That's enough. Look, uh, Mr. Rogor, what Skull's saying is is that we can fool with the handicap. And no one's ever figured out how to do that before. <laughs> you know why? Because it can't be done. No one has ever been able to get into that infernal computer. Mr. Rogo, if you lose control of the championship fights, you lose control of everything. I have a plan of my own. Now you and your skeletal sidekick, leave me alone. Mr. Bogle, get out! Burning yourself out in the gym, okay? No way. It's for the title. Come on. Hmm? Oh, Come on, get in there. Let's go. All right, let's go. All right, now give him a <laughs> You all right? You all right? Thanks for the workout, huh? Good, good. Yeah, good kid. Good out there, Steve. Hey, You're ready. Good. I want you to keep an eye on that right, okay? Mm -hmm. He's going down there a little bit. Let's go eat. Yeah, kid's good. Good fight. Come and get out of here, Shorty. Look, I want you to work on your combinations and keep that lateral movement tight, all right? You listen to me? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, sure. You hear me? No problem. I'll take care of it. Go take an eye on Bass, your muscles don't tighten up. I said I'd take care of it. Get back to work now. Come on, let's train. What's he in such a hurry for? Looks like love to me. 
chase. Hey. Why don't we get together later? You take my mind off things. We can, uh, you know, relax. If I'm not relaxed, I can't throw my best punches. Ah, and I'm supposed to help you relax. Why not? Meet me at my place. Good night. This place is incredible. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. I'm sorry, but I haven't had a chance to finish getting ready. I think you're beautiful just the way you are. That's very sweet. Would you like a drink while you wait? Sure. The bar's over there. Help yourself. How are you feeling about the fight, Steve? It's like you said. By this time tomorrow night, I should be champion. Can you help me with this?
What is that? A toast to the next champion. You know I'm not supposed to drink. Steve, it's for love. One won't have to work up much of a sweat tonight. You're not falling for him, are you? Armstrong? No. Up soon, they're going to call a fight. Rogar's got something to do with this. No, he doesn't. Get him on the table. Okay. Why? Where the hell have you been? Doesn't matter. Just help me get ready. Give me the light. Pulse is slow. This boy is not feeling any pain. I'm all right. I'm all right. Be still. It's been drugged. I'll get a doctor. Oh, kid. Fight like this. Can I fight like this? Oh, come on, kid. <clears throat> this is the championship, Steve. It's everything that we've worked for. This will help me get ready. Everybody, stand away, please. Though Armstrong is going to disappoint the crowd tonight. But this crowd is growing restless. Now, where is the challenger? What's he doing? We'll know better when the test results come in. What's the problem? Blood infection, Commissioner. Horns have been out there for 10 minutes. That crowd is ready to tear the arena apart. Steve Armstrong represents the hopes, the dreams, the desires of every Earthling.
Trimetazine 25. He's loaded with it. 50 cc's of crystal plex immediately. Vital signs critical. Approaching terminal. How serious is it? Another two hours, he'd have been dead. Someone tried to poison him. Will he be all right? We've given him a powerful anti-infector. He should be coming out of it in, oh, 15 minutes. Will he be able to fight? He won't be 100%, but yes, he can fight. But I won't take responsibility. Well, it's up to you, Quinn. Do you want to withdraw? Mind giving me a minute alone with Steve? Four. You too, Shorty. Thank you. Why? All right. What's going on? Look, just tell me one thing. What? Who were you with last night? What are you talking about? It was the girl who visited you at the gym, wasn't it? But that's my business. You're my fighter. You're under contract. I said, my private life is my business. She's Rogor's girl, Steve. Where is she? Look, Steve, the gun! Never mind, I'll fight him myself. What about the fight? The fight is between me and Rogor. He's not going to get away with this. Look, if you want to get to Rogor, then go out there and fight Horn and win. Listen to them, Steve. They're calling for you. They believe in you. I believe in you. Just forget about Rogor. Do it for yourself. Kind of school. 
skulls. Will it work? You mean about the handicapper? No problem, Mr. Rogor. No problem. Do it. Right. Weasel! Do it all the way. Then we won't have to worry about Quinn's protege anymore. Brilliant, Mr. Rogor. Brilliant. This look legit. Nothing. Second round. Now we humiliate him. Fine. Yeah, well, don't let him fool you. Now that he's used to his handicap rating, he's going to come on real strong. So stay on him, okay? Okay. Just keep that killer in. Fine. To set a ring.
playing with them. I smell a rat. Or a weasel. Wrong way. I don't have any strength out there. It's working your heart. I mean, even with the handicapper, you knew this was going to be a tough fight. I don't know. It's more than that. I don't have any strength out there. That's it. You're still sick. I'm calling this match. No, I'm not. I'm going to finish this fight. It's okay, boss. You can do it. Yeah. Give me some water. Give him a night they won't forget! Five seconds to round start. Round three, Scar. Now we kill him. Five seconds to set the
see that? There's an old saying, when it's over, it's over. And guess what? It's over.